Hi, this is yet another episode in long range of video tutorials by students for students. My name is J.H. Peterson from Roscoe Business College. In this episode we will take a closer look of how we use MySQL databases in Visual Studio if Microsoft SQL databases is not an option. In this episode we will look at how we download, what we download and the installment of the software. So enjoy! To be able to work with MySQL databases in uh, Visual Studio, you need some software from MySQL. So let's visit the MySQL website and we choose Downloads and uh, MySQL Installer for Windows. It's a complete package for the 32-bit uh, operating system for now. Then uh, you choose Download and in this picture you just uh, say no thank you, you choose your mirror, in my case it's uh, in Denmark, and uh, choose download. Uh, I've cheated so I already downloaded this file, and then you have downloaded the file, you just uh, choose execute on the file, and run it, and we wait a bit. Acknowledge this. You'll be prompted with a window where you have different uh, options uh, and uh, add and modify option where you can choose the products you need. Uh, I've already installed it and uh, therefore everything uh, uh, checked out. Uh, the most important are, of course, the database and the .NET connector uh, down here, uh, and you choose next, and then you uh, be forced to uh, set up your server with a password and uh, username and port and so on. And when you have done that, you will be able to uh, work with uh, MySQL in your Visual Studio application. I hope you enjoyed this short episode in the long range of video tutorials by students for students. In this episode we took a closer look on where we download, how we download and what we download from MySQL, the installment of the software and what we install. In the next episode we will take a closer look in roles and memberships in ESP.NET sites and how it works with MySQL databases. So look forward to the next episode.